This is the 2023 Winnebago Vista 29 MP, the National Park Foundation edition. Now, this Winnebago is gas. It has the 7.3 liter V8 Ford engine. Now, take a look at this front. I love the front of Winnebago's. I love that large windshield up there, John. Oh, that's beautiful. It's but, pretty cool. But check out these headlights. Where Those do you really see nice. these? I really like that. Now, you come around the side, your mirrors are here, but your cameras are here, which is still pretty high up, which gives you a good view of the road. Now, what size tires are those, John? Those are, let's make sure before I say anything, they are 19.5s. Now, as we pass by the door here, let's check out the storage. Look at, oh, sorry, I crossed right in front of you. Look at that. And it's pass-through. That is nice. And let's see what this one has. Look at that. And this is where your inverter battery disconnect switch is. And we have our television with two external speakers. Hey, John. Yeah. You notice something about this paint scheme? Let me step back so that everyone can oh, see Oh, it's it. a lovely paint scheme for the National Park Foundation editions. This is the special mountain-inspired paint scheme. Well, it looks like it's mountain-inspired. And this is full-body paint on this model. Yes. All right, let's move on past the television. What is here? Look, extra storage, and it's passed through also. Now remember, this is a 29-footer, so this has a lot of storage for something this small. Oh, what have we here? Look at this. I actually like the idea of an outdoor kitchen, especially since they put the hatch opening up, so it protects you from the elements, at least a little bit. I like that. And it has plenty of storage space here. Check hey John, that. Look at that. do you know what I would really love to see in this outdoor kitchen? What would you like? I, I like to see outdoor kitchens that have some sort of a grill or griddle attached to them so that you can actually do some cooking. That's true. This one you'd have to supply your own cooktop, but it would be nice if it included one here. It would be. and I mean, it's nice that it has a sink. And yes. And did you notice that bottle opener over there? <laughs> no. No, I didn't see that. And there's a drain pump as well. Right. Well, that's so you can activate the sink and use it. Yep. It's nice. And, oh, this is taped shut, so I, oh, no, it's not. That's the wrong side. Wrong side, John. I know, I gotta figure this out. Hey, John, did you notice something else? What's that? Right above your head. You were in the shade, did you notice that? Because here, ah, they, they also have, have the bat wing awning. They do, they added it to this particular model. And look at this, you can actually sit out back here and cook and enjoy the day out in your national park. Especially, you know, if you're going, you know, off the grid or you're going, you know, to a national park, this is really nice because it really expands the area that you have to enjoy the scenery. It really does. And take a look at this, your propane quick connect right here on the back near your outdoor kitchen. I think that's why they put it here. That makes sense to me, John. You know, so you can add your own griddle or grill on the outside. And why don't you tell us about the towing capacity, John? The towing capacity is 5,000 pounds on this vehicle. Now, being a light 29 foot vehicle, you may not want to tow 5,000 pounds fully loaded. Now, let's go take a look at the other side. It might be a bit of a tight squeeze, John. Why don't you lead the way? I will lead the way. Follow me. See, I didn't hit my head this time. Very good, John. So proud of you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's the little things that matter. Here is your Onan 5500 generator. And here we have our electrical bay with a south wire transfer switch. Next to that, is another storage bay. This goes all the way through, this pass-through. That's just the other side, right? Your fuel cap. And then the wet bay. 
This is a very neat wet bay. It is very neat, and everything's right here where you can reach it. Look at that, right in the center. Water pump's easy to get to. I like that. I appreciate that now. Here's your filter, a light, your fresh water inlet, your outdoor shower, and you have a black tank flush right there. All right, John, well, that water bay looks pretty nice. Let's go see what else there is. Yes, there's only two more here. Let's see. More storage, and it is Let's passed see the other through. side. Right. And finally, I bet this is propane. Yes, it is. And that's a 76 pound propane tank. It's a good amount. That is a lot of propane. Not too bad. Well, you know, this is a National Park Foundation edition. So you'd be expecting folks who purchase this to maybe want to do boondocking. Or right. Stay places, you know, we, we have limited hookups. Exactly. So now let's take a look at the inside. Sounds like a plan. Follow me. Do I have a choice? <laughs> no. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I have to say, I have found, I don't do favorite features, but I found a feature I like already. Where the batteries are, look at this. It has a clip. You lift this up, look, and to pull it out, and you have access to your batteries right there. Well, I would say that's easy access, John, but how do you lift? You can't lift that all the way up, though. Oh, it comes out. Well, then I stand corrected, John. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, let's head on in and see <laughs> the inside of this. You know, coming in, this has a cabin feel to me. It really does. <laughs> But John, how about we start off with you in the driver's seat? Yes, let's do that. All right. Can you turn down the radio a little bit? I can. Not that the music isn't nice. There we go. Awesome, okay. This is your typical Ford steering wheel. It does have your cruise control and your menu options on the left. You do have your headlights here, battery switch here, fog lamps. This has your mirror controls all the way on the right, and your shade. Now moving over here, we do have power outlets here for the driver's side. And I don't see the ones for the passenger, but I'm sure they're probably further over. But you do have these that the passenger can access. They put the leveling down here on the dash. Check that out. I mean, I see. yeah. And the, uh, controls for your AC are easy for the passenger and the driver to reach. So that is pretty nice. Now let's take a look over on the passenger side and see what we have in the dash for the passenger. Now is this something here? Ah, uh, look at that. That well, is not, nice. That is sturdy too. It is doesn't it really shake, dark? it doesn't move, it doesn't vibrate. It's nice. This one's very firm. Great. And it's easy to operate, and you have a little space here to put things that you may be using. Oh, so when you close it, there's extra. Yeah, it actually on, sticks up. So See? That you can put your pens or paper or your, and, you know, laptop mouse or you know any other thing that you might be working with. Right, and it's right there. And look, it looks like part of the dash, so maybe no one will notice anything's in there. Fantastic. Is there anything else over there we need to know about? There is a power outlet right here. Okay. by the by the passenger and 110 though well, that's so fine. that's that's pretty nice and then as i come out you saw that this seat swivel both seats swivel and you have a table option right here now it looks like you do have vents in the floor here yes you do you have two vents up front here and a spot for a table right well, and John, let's switch places oh wait yes you're getting ahead of me look at you going okay. fast we have a bunk right here. And it looks like, wow, this would be hard for me to reach the controls there. Is that where the controls are? I believe they are, but I'm so short, I can't see. Now let's take a look at the living and dining area. And you know what I have to do. <sighs> of course you do, John. So how comfortable is that? These are nice. Are they? I like this. And, and, oh, <laughs> that is a good feature, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, does he, do these recline? Uh, yes, they're manual reclining. Okay. And let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, that really reclines. 
You look very comfortable, John, but we have to get back to work. Oh, man, couldn't you continue by yourself? Well, I could. <laughs> I could point everyone over here to the dining area where you have a very nice booth. And then right above that is your television, which if you're sitting in the recliners and you're leaning back is very easy to see. Wow. John, do you want to show them the cabinet space up there? Yes. Oh, that's very nice. It's it a good is. amount of space. It looks like you have something else up there. Uh, some there outlets. There is an outlet right there, and it looks like some sort of television outlet, perhaps. Yes, HDMI below that. Okay. So you can hook up something to your television and leave it in there. And let's just jump back over here for a second and look at these cabinets. These are they're fairly deep. Yes, they do look very deep. And John, I have to say, I love the fact that you have a window on the left huh. and a window on the right. It does make the space a lot brighter in here. It definitely does. And now we come into the kitchen and for a 29, this is nice. I like this, the way they use the space. The sink here is a double sink. This is very attractive. Oh, I like that, John. That nozzle there is it's a bit different from what you typically would see. It is. It is. It's very, very different. And then the cabinets up here. This one has a shelf. It is not adjustable, but it is very spacious back there. I just saw something I really was not, I didn't really like. When you open this, this is, well, I guess it's just loose. Nothing, maybe a tightening a screw wouldn't right. fix. And then this one is very deep. If you want to come around and see that, look at that. Oh, wow. That one is very nice. I like it. Now, let's look below the sink here. Right here, I have a nice deep drawer. And this one, not so deep, but it would be perfect for spices. Check the sink area. So under the sink? Yeah, so That's kind of a weird it shape is there. It's kind of weird. They made room for these drawers and for the sink fixtures, so. Maybe you could put some cleaning products under there. Or something. You probably I'm could. I'm sure you could figure something out. And we have three drawers here. Oh, that one's deep. Yes, yes it is. And so is this one. Yes, it is. <laughs> we have a three burner Elite Series stove here by Suburban. And underneath we have oven. And under that, where you'd put your pots. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what you were looking for, wasn't it? Absolutely, John. <laughs> Above that, we have this gray stone microwave. And finally, your refrigerator, which is a Norcold. So I believe Norcold is a 12 volt, isn't it? Well, you know, that refrigerator is very nice size for this unit, I think. It is, and being a Norcold, it'll help you stay off grid. Now, John, we passed by this panel. Why don't we talk about that a little bit? The Winnebago panel, see, I've always liked the Winnebago controls. It's, this is where you would monitor all your tank levels. As you can see there, your batteries, your water pump and water heater right there, your auto gen start. You also have all your other settings for your DC power usage, your AC controls, your lights, everything is right there. You know, John, I don't think we told everyone the size of the tanks. No, no, we did not tell them the size of the tanks. The um, tank sizes, I went over propane, which is 76 pounds. Fresh water is 70 gallons. The gray tank is 61 gallons, and the black tank is 40 gallons. Okay, great. Thanks, John. Not a problem. Now let's uh, check out that bathroom. Well, first we should check out the paintings. <laughs> let's trade places so we can check out the bathrooms. And here we are. That is a bit of a step up to get to this particular shower. Yes, it is. But so we're checking out the shower first? Yes. 
All right, hop on in, John. I need to get into the shower. And you know, you take a lot of showers when we're at the show, but I never see you use any water. That is, <laughs> no, I don't. All right, the shower is not adjustable, but it does seem pretty high. It has a skylight, of course, and these little nooks behind you. It's, it's, it's roomy. Okay, John, let's come on out and look at the rest of the bathroom. All right, we have the toilet here off to the side and, and you're John, sick. as handsome as you are <laughs> no. I'll slide out of the way you have two mirrors in here lots of cabinets nice sink everyone's really going to those black fixtures this year I've noticed they seem to be very popular we've seen them in other brands too we have black is the color this year yeah do you want to open up those cabinets for us so we can I see do. what the space is like Here's your medicine cabinet. How about down below? Ah, down below the sink. That's a pretty good amount of space for a bathroom cabinet. It's not too bad. Yeah. And then what about behind you? Is there any, are there There's any There's storage right here where this magazine is. You know, and I'm curious, John. Toilet paper. If you sit down on the toilet. Yeah. Can you reach that toilet paper holder okay? Easily. Not too bad. And okay. the magazines. Now show us the cabinets above. Yes, above the toilet, we have a two-shelf cabinet. Not bad. It's a good amount of space. There's also a towel hook up here next to the cabinet. All right. Um, let's look over here. Now, this might be part of the kitchen. <laughs> so my guess is, John, this is a pantry. Yes. Did you notice these? Oh, I wonder if it comes with that. Wait, I want to see what this is like. Is this because it looks like cardboardish? It does. It is cardboardish with uh, wow. felt. But it still it reminds me of something you pick up at IKEA. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. It's nice that they give it to you. And now to the bedroom. There is a pocket door right here. You can come on in and see the bedroom. Well, thank you for sharing, John. Oh, you know I don't mind. Now, on each side of the bed, we have these large closets. Why don't you open that up so we can take a look? Sure. It has a hanging bar, and it has a little storage below. Not, very, not much space in there, though. Not really, no. If there's one on each side, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's kind of tight. And below but... that, we have a long, narrow drawer. And instead of end tables, they use the space here as a shelf. Now I'm guessing that you could put your CPAP there because it looks like there are outlets as well. There are outlets in the back. Yes. Check out that window behind you. I like this window. This gives you a good view and the awning is right below it so it doesn't block any of your view. That is pretty nice. And then we have another window here over the dresser. Yes, it's pretty bright back here. And we'll take a look here. That's why that doesn't need to be very big. You have one here. Oh, I see. So you have a bigger one here. Oh, okay. That, change, that, that changes things, John. And I'm almost certain on the other side, the TV is a matching one. How big are those drawers? Oh, they are quite large. Oh, you, you could put a lot of clothing in there, which means you can stay away for a long time. There are six of these drawers. That is awesome. Look at that. That is. And like I said, on this side of the television, you have another wardrobe. So you have plenty of hanging space in here, and these six drawers are massive. Well, this has been a very nice tour, John. It has been. I like this unit. There are a few other things that we should tell our viewers okay. about this unit that we may have left out. So the first one is, did we talk about the solar energy system? No. So this has standard 320 amp hour lithium ion battery. That's a lot. Not bad. And it comes with a charge controller and three solar panels. See, this is really meant to be off grid living. It is. Now let me tell you about the colors that we have in here. The paint scheme on the outside. Uh, we talked about that, that special right. mountain. Inside, this is the town and country interior. And the cabinets are the Salinas Oak. Okay, and this is all to provide that outdoorsy cabin feel so that if you're in the national parks, 
when you come back into your RV, you feel like you're in the national parks. Yes, you do. Like you're in a cabin, right? Right. It has a, it does have a cabin feel. I like the dark touches up here on the wood. This is really nice. Well, John, I've enjoyed touring this unit. I was really excited about it when I saw it. Right. And now it's time for your pet peeve, mm -hmm. my favorite feature, and the build quality rating. All right then. For this one, I, I like what Winnebago has done here, but I'm a little confused as to why they put the heat vents in the floor. Um, that seems like not such a good idea to me. Okay. That's a good one. I know that a lot of people in different forums have complained about heat vents in the floors. Right. Especially people with pets. Right. So I, I get that. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite feature. Yes. My favorite feature is... I don't know. <laughs> my favorite feature is the decor. I really love this cabin, outdoor, woodsy feel that this RV gives you. So now it's time for the build quality rating, John. Yep. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to run around and take a look and let you know what we think. Right. Well, John, we did a thorough look. Yes. And I couldn't find anything. I know you stayed in a little bit longer because yeah. you were determined to find something <laughs> wrong. What did you see? Anything with a fit and finish that concerned you? Nothing. I mean, this is typical Winnebago. Uh, this is a good thing. I mean, Winnebago seems to build very good quality vehicles. So then, John, is this going to be another 10 out of 10? <sighs> yes, yes, I think it is. Okay, then a 10 out of 10 for this Vista 29 NP. That's it for this one. We're on to the next one. And check out some more Hershey videos right there. Hey, they're in front of your face this time. I'll put them anywhere. <laughs> I'll put them where I want to put them. <laughs>